Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about the esophagus. The esophagus is an extension of the pharynx and a narrow lined tube designed to promote food into the stomach. It begins to correspond to the level of the sixth of the cervical vertebra, the place of confluence in the stomach and in the level of the eleventh thoracic vertebra. Its line is from 23 to 25 centimeters. The esophagus has three parts, cervical, thoracic, and abdominal. The longest part of the esophagus is thoracic, and the shortest is abdominal. Behind the esophagus is the vertebral column. To the anterior surface of the esophagus, in the cervical part lies the trachea. The thoracic part of the esophagus is connected with the trachea, left bronchus, pericardium, and the aorta. The abdominal part of the esophagus borders on the liver and spleen. Throughout the esophagus, there are three anatomical constrictors. At the point of transition of the pharynx into the esophagus, at the level of the designed uh, trachea into bronchi, and the passage of the esophagus through the diaphragm. The wall of the esophagus has a thickness about 4 mm. There are the following membranes. Inner, mucous, middle, muscular, and outer connective tissue. On the mucous membrane, a stable, long detailed folds are formed which is striated during the passage of the food lump. Longitudinal folds give the esophagus on the cross section a subtle appearance. The mucous membrane contains mucous glands that facilitate the passage of food when swollen. The <clears throat> longitudinal folding is a functional device of the esophagus that promotes the movement of fluids along the grooves between the folds of stretching the esophagus when passing dense lumps of food. This is facilitated by a loose submucosal layer, thanks to which the mucous membrane occurs greater mobility. There are lymphoid nodules in the submucosal base. The muscle membrane is located in two layers, the outer longitudinal and inner circular. In the upper third of the esophagus, both layers are formed by striated muscle fibers, and in the middle and lower third of the esophagus, they consist of smooth muscles. The cervical and thoracic part of the esophagus are converted externally with adventitia shed. Its loose connection with all vertebra contributes to the displacement of the esophagus during the passage of food. The abdominal part of the esophagus is covered with a serous membrane, the peritoneum. Thank you for your attention. Good luck.